guys and welcome to our Interrail Diaries. We are about to take a train to our first stop which is Berlin and it's our very first time there and we are so excited. We've been wanting to go to Berlin for a very long time and today we are finally about to visit. We're so excited because I have so many recommendations from you guys and we have mapped out all of the places. We're gonna be staying there for four days and we are waiting for the train. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stressed out because we haven't got like seats and apparently the train is fully booked. We're either gonna have to stand or we will need to find like, you know, free seats. We have arrived in Berlin! Oh my god, finally! It's been a bit of an exhausting mm -hmm. train ride. We were sitting on the floor, but we're just happy that we're here now. The weather is so nice. It's like 28 degrees or something. Super nice. Oh my god. So now we are just walking to our Airbnb. We decided to walk instead of taking the transportation because we had some time to spare before the check-in and it's also just super nice to get some fresh air and seeing all of the beautiful buildings here. By the way guys, I am so relieved that I decided to buy this fanny pack. It's honestly a lifesaver because if I were to have like my leather bag, it just would be so much in the way and it would just be super inconvenient. So. This is a recommendation. We have arrived at our Airbnb and it's located in such a beautiful neighborhood. Look at this. We just dropped our stuff at the Airbnb and it was very cozy. It's like a family that's renting out their son's bedroom. You know, very cozy and we felt very safe there. So we are very satisfied. We are gonna find a coffee spot where we can maybe have something to eat and just sit down and relax for a bit. <laughs> We didn't realize that this is a vegan bakery, but I have to say I'm pretty impressed by their croissant. Here I have some rhubarb soda and apple soda. It's pretty good. Many of you guys sent me messages about that Berlin is like thrift heaven and you guys know that I love thrifting. Of course, we need to go and check out the vintage stores here. I'm going to try on these three things. First off is this oh, shoulder top. I think it's pretty cute. It's very cute, but I don't really like the fit. It's a no for me. I wish they were a little bit bigger. We didn't end up buying anything, thankfully. I can't really buy a lot of things because we have very very minimal space you know because we only have the backpack with us so it needs to be something very very special if I find anything I found some super cute boots they give me like Gani vibes, but they are too small. I feel like it's so difficult to find shoes like my size in thrift stores. They're usually like 36, 37, and I'm like 40. Have you found this really cool watch? Ooh. <laughs> I secured the watch for whole two euros. Mm. 
Ooh. It has no label on it, but I think it just looked cute. <laughs> We are trying to figure out where we want to eat tonight. We don't know what we are in the mood for. If we want like pizza, Japanese. Honestly, don't know. I'm open to anything pretty much. Our Airbnb host said that it's common that restaurants are closed on Sundays and Mondays and today is Monday. There are quite a few places closed, but we will be able to find something. We have come to the conclusion that we are going to be having pizza tonight. I know it sounds a bit boring, but we are just a bit tired after the traveling today and we just want some comfort food, something easy. And a super sweet girl wrote me a message with some Berlin recommendations and she recommended a pizza place called Standard Serious Pizza and it's pretty close by. Oh my god guys, these pizzas look so amazing. I have here Tartufo and here we have New York style pizza and of course we're gonna share them because sharing is caring. So the pizza turned out to be very good. I preferred the pepperoni pizza or the New York pizza. It was really, really good. We're just walking through this park or it's like a playground or something. We found these swings. It's been a very long time since I've swung. Do you say it like that? <laughs> Good morning! We slept like babies yesterday. It was very cozy. We just came home yesterday. We ended up just watching a bit of a movie and then we fell asleep. We were gonna plan our day yesterday, but we didn't end up doing that. We were just so tired. So we don't have any plans for today, but that's also fun. I have a lot of saved places on my Google Maps. So I think we might just, you know, walk around and see what places we want to visit. We just got dressed. I'm going to show you our outfits. French toast that I ordered is insanely good. Oh my god, this is the best like French toast I've ever had. Mm. We found this really cool store that sells so many nice brands and they have like the concept where you can rent the pieces. And I found super cute, like, Hello Kitty pants from uh, Soland. I think you pronounce it like that. And I'm gonna try them on. We saw on Google Maps that we are very close to the Berlin Wall Memorial and we wanted to go and see it. There's so much history in Berlin and we want to learn more about it. We of course have learned a lot of things in school, but it's just interesting to see everything in real life. We are gonna rent scooters so we can get to Museum Island. It's not so far away. We want to do some sightseeing so we can get to know Berlin a little bit better. We didn't know whether we should be like scared about taking the scooters here in Berlin because you never know like you know how the traffic works and stuff but it was pretty okay. They have like bike lanes but sometimes they don't so you just have to be careful. But we just arrived at Bod Museum 
and it's absolutely beautiful here and I just realized that it's definitely a reason why this island is called Museum Island because there are so many museums here and we're just gonna explore this island and probably gonna check into some museums see what's interesting and stuff We just came out of the Bode Museum and it was absolutely beautiful and the building itself was honestly like an art piece. We are gonna go to a supermarket and buy something to eat and then we're gonna go and sit down in the park. We are just strolling around, checking out some stores and just looking around in the city. I found two white pants and I'm gonna try them on. I think these ones are super cute. These would have been so cool, but they don't really fit. They are very, very tight, and I'm not sure if I like this much low waist. Okay guys, we are currently waiting in a queue to go to a Chinese noodle place. It's called Wen Cheng. It looks absolutely amazing. We were actually about to go to a ramen place close by, but I saw this place and I actually got it as a recommendation as well. And there is like a long queue and that just means that this place is amazing. We walked to see like the dishes and the noodles are insane. They are handmade apparently. And I've never tried anything like this. We got the table. Okay guys, this looks so yummy. And here we have a cucumber salad. And we also ordered some German beer. Taste test. I am so excited to try this out. And I'm also scared to spill it on my white jacket. <laughs> mm. Oh my. This is so good. Mm. The noodles were definitely worth the wait. Mm -hmm. mm. One thing, they were really spicy. <laughs> and we took level one. Out of four? Out of four or something. So, yeah, yeah just stick with one. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I thought that I could like handle some heat. We don't. I don't think we can handle it so well. Mm -mm. But it was really, really good. Mm. We highly recommend going there yeah. if you are in Berlin. It's totally worth it. We're gonna go back to our Airbnb. We need to do some work because yeah. on this interrail trip, we also need to, you know, do some mm -hmm. work stuff, edit some content, you know. <laughs> so yeah. we are just gonna end the vlog here, but we really hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you in our next video. Bye!